Pet owners of Reddit, what's the quickest you've gone from my sweet furry angel to why are you doing this, you goddamn goblin? When our dog was a puppy, many many times we'd be cooing over how cute she was, quietly playing with her stuffy, only to realize she was using it as a decoy and she was actually pulling pile out of the carpet. My pup just did this under my bed, I rent, bye bye deposit. One of my cats likes to sleep next to me at night. He is also the one that's prone to hairballs. Many times I've fallen asleep to him snuggling up against me and purring. Many times I have been woken up an hour or so later to that horrible cat retching noise and had to sweep him off the bed in time, if I'm lucky. The good thing about that noise is that it does wake you up instantly so there's a chance for you to do something about it in time. My German Shepherd. Wife decided to make brownies in a glass pan. After they've cooled down, we put them back in the oven. To eat after we went to pick up dinner. Came back to her open stove. Dog diarrhea all over. Mixed with vomit all over the house. And my dog laying in the center of the living room. Hyperventilating. The old boy had used a tea towel we had hanging over the handle to pull the stove open. And decided to eat the brownies. Glass pan and all. $1200 later. Vet surgically removes glass out of dummy's stomach, and he lived for another 10 years. $1200 seems shockingly inexpensive for emergency abdominal surgery to be honest. I have raised two rabbits from birth. Half siblings. Same father. Boy and girl. Girl has always been shy and sweet, and so was boy, up until his testicles dropped. My boy became a man overnight, and not a good one. Up until his appointment for neutering came, he became the devil incarnate, honking, running around in circles, pee all over his toys, all toilet training completely forgotten, biting us, growling, scratching, wiping his tic tac on anything fabric, destroying anything in his path. We lined a perspex storage box with hay that we used as frisky jail, a timeout zone, if you like, to sit think about what he'd done. He's still a little bruiser by nature, but after his surgery he calmed down immensely, especially once his sister was spayed as well. On the day they were reunited, I held my breath as they sniffed and chased, but they rebonded successfully and are inseparable. He's so protective of his sister and grooms her regularly. He's smaller than his sister, and I think he just has little man syndrome half the time. I wouldn't have him any other way. TLDR. Boy rabbit becomes man. Man becomes pest. Pest has his balls cut off. Pest calms down and becomes a loving brother. I love him. Frisky jail has me in tears. My cat used to wait for me to get home at the foot of the stairs. He would lavish me with attention for as long as I stayed at the foot of the stairs. As soon as I passed him he would duck down and start wiggling. When my foot hit the middle stair I would have to set off in a full run because if I didn't he would run up my leg and bite me on the butt. He would also do it whenever I answer the door. What an scat. My cat was on the top of his ceiling high cat tower being an angel. Gazing at me lovingly, rubbing his chin on the corner. Mew mew, hey baby, I see you there. Mummy loves you too. Split second later he turns and projectile vomits what must have been 3 cups of liquid hawk in a 3 tear waterfall that had enough power and velocity to cover the tower, the wallpaper, the floor and the splatter made it to the TV and sofa on the other side of the room. 10 seconds of stunned silence. Mew. Disgusting gargoyle. I was petting my dog, kissed her on the forehead, and then my mom asked if I could fetch her her phone which was charging in her room. I scratched my dog behind her ears, called her my sweet little doggy, and then left to get my mom's phone. And then I stepped in dog crap. My dog had shat on the carpet by my mom's bed, and I freaking stepped in it. As a kid, I remember going over the house of a friend of a friend. We went into his living room and my foot went squish. His dog had shat on the carpet and I stepped right in it. The worst was that the guy was pee at me, as if I should have anticipated there might be crap on his floor. My guinea pig was already a little worked up over some argument he had with my other guinea pig when it was time to clean his enclosure. He also generally doesn't like being picked up, but I thought I could calm him down with some pets before doing so. That usually works. Well, not this time, because the little sucker decided to take an enormous bite in my hand. It wasn't even just a minor scratch either, I was bleeding all over the place. 
The teeth on rodents and lagomorphs are quite impressive considering their often small size. I've been bit by my bunnies and eggers a few times and they always manage to draw blood, despite their cute and innocent looks. I'm guessing guinea pigs are rodents. I just rescued a Great Dane this week. She is a cuddle monster. I'll be scratching her head and she will decide to jump. Actual jumping is not required, up and put her front paws legs on my shoulders. This has almost knocked me over a few times. Had a pit when I was in my early 20s. Went through some crap. Ended up pretty much homeless I did have a hotel room for a few months which made me feel grateful to know be on the street. My job at the time was crap pay for crap work. I was down to my last few dollars and bought some chicken nuggets for myself and got my dog his food, because I'd rather barely eat than to see him hungry, and for the first time out of nowhere he jumped on the table and ate my chicken nuggets. I didn't even have enough money for a single pack of ramen. I was so mad I yelled and screamed at him and he took off running out the door. He was gone almost 3 full days till some old man came walking towards the hotel with my dog on a leash. He came to my door said he'd seen me letting the dog out before and found him behind his garage. We chatted a while ended up sharing my struggle story we 4h red old man. Next day I get a call in the hotel room phone with a job offer making almost 16 an hour. Old man owned a small construction business and created a position of site cleaner got me. I just picked up trash and swept floors after drywallers and electricians etc. My first check had a bonus on it labeled down payment for apartment. I still think the dog had his own plan. What an amazing old man. Hope you back on your feet. Every morning at 6.15 when my little angel decides it's time for me to get up, and claws are her favorite method of communicating. My sweet fluffy angel does the same to me at 7am, only she wakes me by sticking her tongue up my nose. Good morning princess, you weird little pervert. My cat loves to eat crap off the floor, literally anything he can find. Cardboard, pasta noodles, leaves, you name it. Found out he was licking the underside of our shoes one evening, and the sucker got cryptococcus. It's a brain fungus that leaves them in a catatonic like state and can be fatal if untreated. 9 months of daily meds and doctors visits. Thousands of dollars spent and I lose my mind when I find him eating crap off the ground to this day. Oh my god, that's my nightmare. I also have a trash cat as well. Now she's going blind and can't tell what she's eating. Bad smells clearly do not mean anything to her, so I'm extra worried that she'll eat something poisonous. My husband's cat loves him, and only him, unreasonably, it's adorable. He's her person and she gets jealous if he's snuggling me instead of him. We're on the couch and he puts his arm around me, she'll squirm her way onto his lap and just stare at me, so that's pretty cute. The problem is that when he goes away, she cannot handle it at all. This critter goes through the stages of grief, every time, one day of denial. She hangs out on his office chair and generally behaves normally. Two or so days of bargaining, she climbs on my lap, apparently hoping that if she acts real cute, I'll turn into my husband. Three days of depression, she hides under his desk and only comes out to eat at night. Finally, she hits anger. She waits until I clean the litter box and have gone outside to throw the poo out. And then, she shoots on the floor. This lasts anywhere from 1 to 7 days and does not end until my husband returns. She never progresses to the acceptance stage. Oh but IT gets better. It all ends when my husband finally gets home. This ungrateful shit goblin sees him walk in the door, Dedus looks me in the eye, and strolls into the litter box like she hasn't just spent the last week tormenting me. My cat has destroyed over $1000 in electronics, because she loves chewing on wires, two surround sound systems, three pairs of headphones, a Christmas tree, and countless phone cables. Everything we have now is either wireless, hidden, or chew proof. I was trying to make a bunch of my wires neat one night when I realized I had all of these tiny holes in them. My cat had been ever so lightly biting them. Butthole. When you pet your cat and it's purring and squinting its eyes and then all of a sudden they're like enough and they dig their little canines and the skin between your thumb and your index finger. Every day until my feline rat bastard had to be put on painkillers for glaucoma. He hasn't bitten me, or played, since. I almost miss the biting. Went out for dinner. 
cats pried open the kitchen door and ate destroyed the several trays of Christmas cookies and the cake I had spent all afternoon making. Still haven't forgiven them for this. When they decide they're not getting fed fast enough in the morning, because we're not up yet, so they stand outside the toddler's room or the baby's room and scream at full volume. When one of them ate a strip of flooring underlay, then shat it out, but only half of it came out. So he was running round the flat with crap covered plastic hanging out of his ass, spreading poo all over the new floor, and hiding from anyone who tried to help. When I turned around briefly while cooking, and the cat jumped up and started eating the bulgur wheat I just cooked, saw me, then started munching faster. Our cat has also figured out that we respond immediately to loud noises in the baby's room and will yowl directly into the baby monitor unless she gets breakfast first. There are times when my cat is incredibly sweet and cuddly. She'll lay in my lap and purr while she sleeps. I'll pet her and softly scratch her ears while she buries her face in my hoodie. Then there are times where she pees on my freaking couch and tries to eat tape. And I think to myself, you know, I don't need a cat. When my sweet cat Pistol decided to tear the screen out of the porch and disappear for 3 days. I didn't sleep or eat for 3 days. Little jerk showed up hungry. I was recently cuddling one of my foster kittens. I was ecstatic because it's the first time she's let me cuddle her. Apparently she was still a little anxious though, as she shat all down my shirt. Purring and crapping, it was a new experience for me. Every single day when Penny gets too into the pets and she needs my body, usually my chest or stomach, with the sharpest of claws. Try clipping them. I start my cats as kittens clipping their claws. You might only be able to do one claw at a time, but it's a welcome relief from the daggers of love. For tri claw caps, you can get lots of fun colors. My adorable Volsable Pomeranian, when he was 6 months old, walked inside after running around in the forest, while I was eating breakfast, as he had a gigantic turd in his mouth and proceeded to hawk it down in front of me. Our Pomeranian did something similar, it was a hot humid July day and he runs outside comes back after 5 minutes and he literally has another dog's crap embedded everywhere in his fur. Little guy decided to roll in it, gives himself the Cleveland steamer, spent an hour washing it out of his fur. My cat was a stray, total street kitty. If you pet him the wrong way though, he will scratch and bite the crap out of you. He has battle scars, pet him right behind his neck though he will purr like a lawnmower. He has missing teeth and I discovered the other day that you can't pet the one side of his chin. He almost got me. If you can't pet one side of his chin, he probably has rotting teeth and possibly an infection. He needs a vet. I have a 120 pounds cane corso that is my absolute baby and best friend. However, her gigantic jowls hold ungodly things and she just loves to sideswipe me at least 3 times a day. Could be just slobber. Sometimes there's food bits because she just ate. It's a gamble what she'll wipe on you. Makes me mildly disgusted sometimes lol. Loved my old job back in college at a dog care place. Cane corsos were my absolute favorite next to Rottweilers. But holy crap they can throw that weight around. And can confirm slobber like crazy. Love em though. I was loading the dishwasher and one of our cats was lounging beside me, watching curiously. Suddenly she jumps into the back part of the dishwasher and I reach in to get her out. She stares at me balefully and squirms free, walking away tail switching. She stops and turns to look at me. I'm like, what? Meantime I realize she's taking the biggest pee in the middle of the kitchen floor, still maintaining eye contact, green eyes set, B. She hissed and bounded away. She hates women. She is a female cat that has bit any woman that stepped foot into this house. Completely unprovoked. If not bit by, she'll actively try to sneak attack at any given point. She bit me too to the point I had to be hospitalized for a severed vein on my hand. To men she's the sweetest little fat ball of fur ever to have cuddled with. No clue what's wrong with her but the vet has a note whenever we come in to alert other vets to take necessary precautions. When my pup went to grab his toy to play but instead found a rolled up ball that was a napkin and darted across the room at the speed of light. He really had me sprinting. I had a family member that had a black lab who had half a dirty paint roller and an unknown number of tunnel gel caps. 
after using the container as a chew toy, on separate occasions. That was a special dog, it lived happily to old age. When my then 18 month old, ball of attitude with fluff on a house rabbit bit through my laptop cable while it was plugged in, then proceeded to get angry with the cable and kept biting it because it was biting him back. I got home to a totally destroyed cable and a rabbit who had nothing but a minor stomach problem for a few days. He's ridiculously lucky to be alive. He's 6 in July, and before anyone asks, everything was on top of the table, including the outlet. I didn't know the little bastard could climb to reach the top of it. Did you know rabbits can climb? Because I didn't. There's no way he could have jumped on stuff to get up there. He literally had to calculate a route and climb. All accessible cables are now fully armored and I check everything for potential bunny access. No matter how improbable. He's a total prick. But I love him. I used to rehab squirrels and still have a couple that are non-releasable. Bambi, my paralyzed eastern grey, has this huge enclosure with logs and toys and all kinds of stuff to keep him busy and happy. He's the sweetest three-legged critter around, literally paws at me until I pick him up to hold him. When he comes out his mansion and roams the house because zoomies, what does he do? Chew the sofa. My cats are ex-feral and while they do have many ways of showing us love, they are not lap cats and are generally very independent. I came home after being away for a few days, and one of them hopped up onto the sofa next to me, leaned on me for fuss and started purring super loudly, then barfed on my lap, then resumed purring immediately. My old dog got pain medication to help her mobility. I saw her run for the first time in months and I was so happy for her. She ran to a pile of crap in the yard to start eating it. This wasn't me, it's my sister, but still quite funny. I was in my room and I heard my sister go ah oh, you sweetie, you came to sleep with me, obviously to my dog, and she sent a picture of her and my dog on our family group chat. Two minutes later I get the messages, he pee and shat on the carpet, he only came to my room to tell me, freaking piece of crap dog. My dog was on antibiotic tablets for a mild infection but he hates taking pills, so I have to put them down his throat. I'm a former vet assistant, so I'm used to it, but this little idiot inhaled the tablet into his sinuses somehow while fighting me. Multiple specialist appointments, a balloon procedure, and $5k later, he can breathe mostly normal again. Love him to death but Jesus, why? My dog is the same way, total butthole. I've hidden pills in any food item you can possibly imagine. I hide when I do it but I can't be too obvious that I'm hiding. Each time I'm like heck yeah there's no way he'll find it in this. Little sucker eagerly grabs the food, chews it once and swallows it, and then spits out the pill. Every freaking time. So yeah jamming it down his throat is the option. I am constantly flip flopping between the two. My cat is adorable and I love her but god dang she is just. She's a freaking menace to society honestly. Cat outside the window? Go to try and murder it through the window and then maul mom for a week when I can't. Why? Because yes, that's why. New furniture in the house or old furniture being disposed of? I am now angry. Let the mauling commence once more. For an entire week. Something left on a table? I must knock it off the table. Same item now put in a deep cubby to prevent me from being on butthole. I must claw my way into the cubby, and then knock it on the floor again. Too close to the cat tree for too long? Time to slap. Hold her for a second too long after she pulled around the house with her toy in her mouth demanding cuddles? Time to maul. There's a box outside or a bag? Time to attack the window until it's investigated by someone. And then it's time to maul mom for a week about it. I don't know why she feels the need to be a spicy lil crap. Good thing I named her Pepper I guess. I. I have a few. My cat likes to follow you to the bathroom, and will be purring and rubbing against your legs. Sometimes even gets on your lap. At some point he decides enough is enough so clings to your leg like a koala with all claws. Teeth sunk into your skin in his back. Let me tell you. Being attacked whilst doing your business is not a fun experience. My dog likes to clean up her own. And the cat's sick. I'll go grab supplies to clean it up and when I come back, it's gone. She looks so proud of herself every time to have gotten this tasty treat. Once my dog came into the bathroom whilst I was in the bath, wanting attention. 
I petted her, and fussed her, telling her how she's such a good girl for keeping me company. She then shat on the floor, was not impressed having to get out the bath to clean that up. My cat came on my bed once, was demanding fuss. I was kissing his sweet forehead whilst he was booping me and he decided to turn around. He had a crap nugget stuck to his fur. I had to then chase him to get it. My friend went to pick my dog up once whilst fussing with the baby voice. My dog then farted on her hand. Was hilarious that is didn't happen to me and see the change in her attitude. My cat has never succeeded in his life to be fed any earlier than the time set. Does this stop him trying? No. He loves to wake me up between 6.30am to 7.30am by knocking everything off my dressing table. All was purring. My dog likes to come for a fuss after she's eaten. Do not fall for it. She will burp in your face. My cat has done the first thing. I'm minding my own business, not touching Heim, and he bites my leg. Not me, but from another room I heard the following from my brother. A-W-W, Bertie, no, no, O-W Bertie no, Bertie is a cat, just for context. My chinchilla goes from sweet innocent fluffball who just wants some treats and pets to frisky little bastard real quick. I'll just be sitting with him giving him pets and he'll try to hump my foot, or the blanket, or a pillow, or a stuffed animal, or my knee. Honestly, any nearby semi-soft thing is in danger of being humped. He's also jizzed on his vet, more than once. My ferret, Chad, is such a big baby he'll sit on the floor when I'm in the kitchen, half making sure I don't go missing and half because maybe he'll get a snack. I'm making dinner and he's being a huge baby. Laying on the floor, requesting pets, the usual, until he decides I'm not giving him enough attention and he goes and pees on the floor and then attempts to rip open the garbage bag. He's the reason we can't have nice things. I was wondering if a ferret owner was going to chime in. They are such hilarious little carpet sharks. But every owner says it's like owning a demon perceives slinky that likes to steal all your crap. Came home after a horrible 14 hours shift from the hospital. Bone tired, feet aching set my things down in my bedroom, turned around to see that my sweet baby Stella, cat, had crap on the bed and pee on my pillows. She did this on and off for two years. Hundreds of dollars spent at vets only to be told she is perfectly healthy and is doing it out of spite. What spite you ask? I had rescued three kittens who adored her, but she was not happy to accept them and share her bed with. I would cover the bed in shower curtains and place items on the bed to prevent her from pee on the bed. Oh, close the door to your bedroom you say? She opens doors. Switch the door handles you say? She learned to open those too. When I added a lock to the door and locked it before leaving, she would crap outside the door. As soon as she had an opportunity to sneak in, she would pee all over the bed. New bed, bedding plus vet bills over $5,000 easy. Then one day she stopped and now snuggles with said rescue kitties. I still love that adorable psychopath. Baby boy was frolicking in the grass. All adorable. I leave him for 5 minutes and see him going to town on his crap. MF was snacking on his own crap. He had the gall to look me dead in the eyes and lick his face clean after the whole ordeal. I had a really well behaved blind foster dog. I was very sick one night and put him to bed in his kennel, which he loves, earlier than normal, and I slept later than normal too since I felt so horrible. I woke up and was so proud he hadn't pooped anywhere, since I left him in there so long. That is, until I brought him out of his kennel and he chugged an entire bowl of water and then threw up watery poop that he had eaten, all over my doormat. Since he'd drank so much water, it spread all over my floor. Cue me gag crying with a bottle of 409 and paper towels. I didn't blame him, obviously. My kitty loves to walk behind your head on the couch, give your head a big sniff and then rub her tiny face into your hair. We call it a mazy massage. Anyway so she's rubbing her head and body all over your head and you're like yeah 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 this is me. And then out of nowhere she bites your dang head. This doesn't happen every time. So you need even know when the mazy massage might turn into the mazy mall. My cat was being cute and just chilling following me around the house as I cleaned. Until I lit a candle. She then jumped on top of it and lit herself on fire. She's totally fine and was not phased at all. I was a little traumatized by having to stop drop and roll my cat but it's all good 
My dog is an enormous lab named Blue, but he doesn't realize just how gigantic he is. He has a tendency to claw his way onto your lap. No matter if you're laying in bed or sitting at your desk, he'll shimmy his way up there and plop his bony butt down. It's adorable, but also the feeling of claws digging in, his large whip of a tail smacking at you as it wags, and the bones in his butt digging in, it's painful. Every morning goes from sleepy and affectionate to me yelling in pain and trying to shove him off while he just stares down at me and wags his tail. My cat recently lost about a third of her body weight and can now get in the top of the cat tree. Congrats doodle. Now when she wants to get down she jumps off the top directly onto my chest as I lay sleeping. Surprised she hasn't cracked one of my ribs. One of mine likes to jump off the headboard of my bed and onto my ribs. It's a truly shocking way to wake up. She also has a certain spot on the bed she likes to use as her springboard to jump up onto the headboard. And if my arm happens to be there, oh well, she's using my arm. Got woken up last night by my little spaniel girl that was standing next to the bed. She puked on the floor, that's why she wanted me awake, s. My dog constantly scratching at the door every 5 minutes to go in or out. It's driving me insane and she's tearing up the door. Not to mention she found out how to open drawers to get to food. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.